Humboldt's new EDGE electrical density gauge provides a nuclear-free method for determining on-site, real-time, percent compaction evaluations, as well as moisture and density levels for compacted materials typically used in roadbeds and foundations. The EDGE field unit uses a lightweight, ruggedized backpack for easy transport and storage. Just grab the backpack and you're off to your testing site. To perform a typical EDG field test, first lay the yellow electrode template on the ground and proceed to hammer the four electrodes into their appropriate positions on the template. When hammering the electrodes into the soil, make sure to maintain a tight fit between the soil and the dart. Do not hit the dart from the side as this may cause a loose fit and produce inaccurate readings. Also make sure to hammer it in up to the shoulder of the dart this ensures the taking of proper readings. Next, connect the field sensor to the field dart assembly and attach them to the center electrode. Be careful not to loosen or dislodge the center electrode when doing this. In line with one of the three outer electrodes, make a hole for the temperature sensor using the T-handle probe. This hole should be about 3 inches in depth. Then insert the sensor into this hole and plug the temperature cable into its input on the field unit. Try to keep the cable up off the ground to ensure better readings during testing. Attach the electrode clamps to the three outer electrodes. Then turn the EDG unit on. To begin to set up a test, take your tablet or laptop and open the EDG program you've downloaded from the Microsoft App Store. When you start the program, it will locate the field sensor automatically and open to the last Proctor data set from the lab. To start a field test, click on the Field Sites tab at the top of the window you will see a blank field site dataset page. Click on the file icon at the left. This will bring up a new field site form. Give the new test site a name. Then click on the Proctor dataset field and choose the appropriate Proctor Lab test from the pop-up menu. This links the Proctor Lab test data to this field test and the program will populate the maximum dry density, optimum moisture, and the project specifications for the percent of dry density to achieve a quality assurance, quality control, passing test specifications. On this window, you will also be able to set the acceptable range of moisture percentage for the test. Click on the Save button, which will set the testing parameters for all tests assigned to this field site. Next, click on the Add button and the Perform a New Field Test window will appear. The EDG will take a few seconds to link to the correct EDG device. Click on the Take Measurement button. The EDG will begin to take a reading. This may take a few seconds. When complete, the EDG will provide a window showing the results of the test. It will list percent moisture, wet density, dry density, temperature, GPS position, and the dart size. Be sure to fill in the correct dart size you used in your field test. Dart sizes are available in 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 inch to match the compacted aggregate lift thickness. Then, if you are satisfied with the results, click the Keep button and the EDG will save the info in this data set. Otherwise, you can discard the test. The EDG program will switch to the results page, which will show the results of your test 
in a chart and locate the test point on the dry density moisture graph. As you do more tests, the results will add to the chart and graph. This allows you to monitor as well as keep track of all the tests within the field data set. By clicking on the Map tab, you will see all the test locations for the field site. By clicking back to the Results page and clicking on the Edit button at the top, you will be able to edit project specification information. Once your changes are made, click the Save button to save your changes. To generate a report of all the data, click on the report icon at the top of the window. A window will pop up where you can tell the program where to save the report, while also allowing you to name the file and decide what format to save it in. Here it has been saved as a PDF. Here is the field site report, showing the field site graph, the field site data grid, and the field site map. For technical assistance with Humboldt's EDGE electrical density gauge, please visit our website support page or email our technical department, support at humboldtmfg.com.